Hello! And, uh, if you could take a moment, I just wanted to, uh, brag about this Dead by Daylight match I just endured. It was a fucking shit show, I must tell you, to probably my, my toughest match, uh, yet, honestly. So, playing as Sadako, definitely not, uh, my strongest killer, but, uh, my favorite one so far. And, uh, as you can see, I've only got them at Prestige 2. And I've been experimenting with, like, different perks and add-ons to see just, you know, what works. What I can actually do. And add keep her viable with doing the whole, uh, you know, uh, Max Condemn Mori Everybody strategy. Well, as you can see, I got matched up against a fucking lobby of righteous bastards, I gotta say. Look at this. Prestige 12, Prestige 54, Prestige 32, Prestige 27. Be these people have so many more hours in the game than I do. It's fucking terrifying. And just look at this loadout. So, they got uh, Boil Over, Dead Hard, Windows of Opportunity, Windows of Opportunity, Dead Hard, Clairvoyance to Find Shit, uh, Save People from Hooks, Last minute shit. Flashlight, 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 flashlight add-ons. Brightness. Blindness duration. All the shit. The, increase the range of flashlight. Increase the width of the flashlight. And then there's one person who is decked all out in just generator ramp shit. He's got... They've got wiretap. They've got stakeout. They've got hyperfocus. They've, they've got fogwise. So that they are always on a gen, they always know where I am, and they can just hammer out gens in the safety of being alone while the rest of these fuckers are running around blinding the fuck out of me with flashlights. And they did. Many times. And I was constantly wondering, when are you guys gonna run the fuck out of flashlight? I would get, st I would get stunned by a pallet blinded by a flashlight, and then once I recovered from the flashlight, I'd be immediately blinded by another flashlight. I was hit by so many flashlight stuns so many fucking times. I got down to two generators remaining, and that's when I just started snowballing. Because not, not, only, not only did these guys have, like, an entire game strategy going into this, like, they got three people dedicated flashlights, two people dedicated chase targets, one person dedicated gen operator. Not only that, but these guys were on the ball with their videotapes. They would grab a videotape to turn off the generator that they're working, that, that to, to turn off the TV by the generator they're working near, but then they would go to a generator that's close to their target TV and work on that and only when they actually got to Max Condemn did I become notified that they were Max Condemned and immediately, immediately, they deposit the tape. Holy fuck. <laughs> there was so little I could do about that, man. There was so little I could do about that. I basically, like, I, I would be going at this. Suddenly, this guy's, this guy's condemned. I locate him. They're like a floor above me. I'm halfway up to the second floor, boom, they dropped off the tape already. And then this ter person becomes condemned, and they're down the hall from me. I rush down the hall, and boom, they've already dropped off the videotape, removing four stacks of condemn from themselves. Three or four stacks. And they're safe again. I, I can't mori them anymore. So, they had a crack team, three chase, three chase targets, three of them with some of the strongest flashlight bullshit in the game, just chain-stunning me over and over, using every pallet that they could find with windows of opportunity. If I hit them, they dead hard. If I looked in their general direction, I took three fucking flashlights to the face. And then, of course, they've got one person in the background who's just running around cranking out gens like an asshole. <laughs> but, as you can see... They all died. They all died. And that's because by the time that they got down to two TVs, they had already run the course of their tapes, right? They had already 
they'd already grabbed their tapes, dropped them off. They didn't have any more tapes. They couldn't they couldn't run and go get a tape very quickly. And then they started scrambling in order to avoid the condemn that I was stacking on them. And only at that point, only by that stage in the game, did they finally get rid of Hex Ruin. And Hex Ruin is such a wombo combo with surveillance, I gotta say. So basically, my build is, is like this. So this probably did not have a huge effect on the game. I did try to use this as much as possible. Basically, play with your food gives me a 5% stackable movement speed bonus. Anytime I get in chase with, um, anytime I, uh, well, actually, I just realized this thing deactivates once you, uh, kill your first survivor. So I forgot about that. I can deactivate this myself. Anyway, so I had play with your food, stackable 5% movement speed bonus. Anytime I get in chase with my obsession and I break chase with them, which I was going to do invariably. I had surveillance, so basically any time a regressing generator is interrupted, it's highlighted in yellow. So basically I know somebody's working on that generator, but that's only after it started regressing. But all generators start regressing as soon as play as as soon as the survivors let go of the generator. So all I have to do is teleport to a TV near them. They hands off the generator, try to run around, stun me, drop pallets, run away, everything. But the moment they do that, the generator starts regressing and I'm able to push back on their gen progress. And then if I chase somebody or I come back, if somebody else runs back and starts working on that gen again, I'm notified because of surveillance. So as the combination of these two per perks is so powerful. The biggest weakness is just that they can find Hex Ruin and they can deactivate it. And that they know I know they ran past the totem so many fucking times during the match. I also had sh Shattered Hope in case they ran Circle of Healing. And I'm only running this because of Circle of Healing. But they didn't even have any boons. They were not running any boons whatsoever this game. So this was a dead perk. So I was basically running with three perks. One of them was not even, like, I, I maybe sometimes had like a 5% movement speed bonus on this. A lot of the time I didn't. A lot of the time I didn't. So this was a somewhat, somewhat speed bonus, brutal information, gen regression thing. And this was only made possible mainly because of iridescent videotape. I'm not sure how much they were healing, to be perfectly honest. They had to have been healing a little bit at least. And I know, I know, I did catch them a number of times healing each other. So they would have been spreading condemned that way. But iridescent videotape makes it so basically I pop out, I pop out of a TV. I get a slight movement speed bonus. I instantly beeline for the generator. And then if I get close enough to hit them within 8 seconds of doing that, it pops on all the TVs again, which makes me immediately able to teleport again. So as long as I'm consistently getting hits on guys, I'm hitting them, forcing them to heal, proccing ring drawing. When I'm hitting them, I'm reactivating TVs so I can skip the delay to teleport to the next generator. Each generator I, I jump to that they get pulled off of activates Hex Ruin, and then anytime we leave that generator, I know when to come back because surveillance procs. I somehow fucking won this. I morried one person, uh, then a second person, then finally a third person, and the last person, I let them, after blinding me so many fucking times, I let them sit there, almost completely bleed out, and then I hooked them. Fuck you guys. <laughs> so it's really po this is really hard. It was really effective, and I'm I'm glad I finally figured out some combination of perks that got the job done because I really couldn't rely on Jolt. I really couldn't rely on Jolt that much. I know Hex Ruin again. 
it can be cleansed, and that's a problem. But without Jolt, oh my god, without Jolt, Hex Ruin was being fucking brutal. So I did, basically, I did not have to kick any gens until I already got my first kill. So only after that did I have to start kicking gens, and by that point, they're already scrambling. Because they've still got generators to do, they got condemned to sh slag off, they don't know where the fuck I am. I am omnipresent on the map, because I'm just popping all over the place with iridescent videotape. Iridus of videotape, easily the most powerful of the two atoms that I had. I'm pretty sure ri ring drawing was great, but it did not, uh... I, I don't know, uh, One Pump Willie made a case for Bloody Fingernail also being very effective. But I'm sure ring drawing procced enough condemn to push some guys over the edge. So this is, like, this is the most stacked lobby I have gone against ever up to this point. You can see three of them are PC players. One of them was a console player. These guys were probably in a team. That's my theory. These guys were in a team, and then I lucked into another flashlight asshole. <laughs> I think that's how that worked. And I beat the console player and the, uh, the last three guys. Fuck, dude. This was rough. But I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy that I won. And I'm happy that I got a build that can win what is probably the most aggressive fucking opponent I can possibly go up against. Because they knew exactly how to handle their tapes. They, they, they blinded me and stunned me at every possible opportunity. And they were organized for, for war. They were bringing their like precious like keep their add-on shit. I was bringing my savior add on shit. Oh my god. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. It was freaking nuts, dude. It was freaking nuts. Anyway, thanks. Have a good one. Bye bye.